Good day mga kabungot, subscribers, travelers, and fellow riders. Today, I'm going to do my first moto review vlog. I am getting ready to meet a friend and test ride his bike. I have heard a lot about this bike and read reviews as well. I got so curious that I wanted to know firsthand how it feels to ride this bike and why they say that this is not your average bike. So I called my friend and asked if he could lend me his baby for a ride. His baby bike that is. So here I am riding my bike and about to see my friend. But for that, here are some specs of the new Kawasaki Ninja 400. At 399cc with a parallel twin engine, built lightweight at around 164kg, makes me think this is indeed worth every centavo spent. But wait, here are more added features. It has a shorter wheelbase for better handling a gas capacity at 14 liters and a seat height at 30.9 inches so dili lang yun siya para sa mga tagas but at the same time uh, pwede gitsa sa average filipino height and for the ground clearance uh, actually safe siya sa mga humps or sa mga small potholes sa karsada no? so you don't have to worry about that but the most important feature of this bike is the ABS or the anti-lock braking system or anti-skid braking system. Gamit kanisha because there are, there are situations where in kung slippery ang dan or you do an auto stop or hard stop um, if you don't have the ABS, maklag yun ang bike mo na kasagaran madiskasya. But with this one, it can save your life. Lightweight and easy to maneuver. 
including the kitchen with my height at 5 feet 8 inches is almost in an upright position. There's a little arc on the back. This is as comfortable as it can get riding a sport bike. Pretty surprising for a big bike entry level. Usually, when I'm riding a big bike, one of my main issues is the clutch. Sometimes it gets really uncomfortable pulling a hard clutch, but with the Kawasaki Ninja 400, it is by far the lightest clutch I have ever experienced in a big bike scale. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is paid for, all is said and done. So after riding it at TCH, I decided to ride it in the CD, this, the Kawasaki 400. And then um, just to check uh, how it feels kung imuni siyang gamiton as a computer bike. But unfortunately, uh, it was a holiday, so there wasn't too much traffic to test it in. Pero what I realized is that this bike is very nimble. And because it's lightweight, wouldn't have any problem trying to get in uh, into a traffic so all in all if I have to rate this bike from 1 to 10 10 to be the highest I'd give it a 9.5 why 9.5 the only upset for this bike is the seat itself ang lingkorana niya kay kadugay medyo mo flatten gichag mayo and you can feel a little bit uncomfortable but all in all it was a great experience. The bike is really good. Uh, for me, this is not just an entry-level bike, you know. Uh, for those who are who wants to ride, you can you'll have fun uh, riding this bike all the way. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through the air. The pain I felt is paid for, all is said and done.
Kabungot na human na gini. Uh, again, si Kohe at ang Migo nga mawi nagpahuwam sa iyang Ninja 400. Mimbro ni siya sa... Ito? Team 101. Team 101 Cebu. Shoutout sa Team 101. Ang Migo, si Kohe. Thank you. Salamat kayo. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching The Paolo Session.